Hello, beautiful people. It's me, again. Hi. If this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, my name is Hannah Blair. Hello. I make fashion and beauty and lifestyle ranting videos all the time. So just hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see that. If you've been watching me and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Anyways, <laughs> enough of the self promo. What's up? Um, I am here today to talk about something that has been my life for the past 25 days, I think now. And that would be my time away from my boyfriend, Abel. I love him so much and it has been quite the journey so far. But first, before we get into this, I wanted to put my heart out to those who are struggling with any natural disaster crisis right now because we have been struggling as a whole planet. Um, we just had several earthquakes, the hurricanes, Puerto Rico, Florida, Texas, so many people are struggling and I just want to say that if you know someone who's going through that, tell them I love them. <laughs> um, just give them warm words and your support. This is a time that everyone just needs to help everyone. Be love and in service to everyone, guys. Just remember that you, your purpose, if anything, is to serve the people that you love. Anyways, um, so, guys, I tried to film this video, actually, like, not in my room for once, because I wanted to know, you know, like, change up the scene, so I was like, ooh, let's go out in nature. So I tried to film this in nature, and it didn't work out too well. Sorry, nature is just so distracting. It's, like, really beautiful. Scoop, you do, do me a favor. Um, oh shit, what the fuck, dude? That's a huge ass ant! Bitch! Get off my shit, boy! Gosh, I just wanna film in nature! <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna do it from the comfort of my own home. Long distance relationships are hard, guys. They are so hard. I honestly don't think that you should get into a long distance relationship unless you are sure that you see a beautiful future with this person you gotta know that you want to stick around because um it's just it's not the same to not be able to touch them or see them like in the skin and also you know you have to deal with them having a whole different life now instead of you know your old life together like all the time you know he has new friends and i have no idea who any of his friends are that's another hard thing um i would love to know everything about his friends i mean i feel like i would feel a lot more comfortable <laughs> if i knew everything if i just knew these people that he is with all the time it's really easy to trust able because you know we've been together for so long and i know he loves me but it's not that easy to trust other people so, you know, like, there's a lot of paranoid thoughts going on, and, and not even anymore. It was more like the first week after was probably, like, the roughest week. Because I would just, like, you know, like, he wouldn't text me back. He'd be, like, with friends out at night, and I knew he was with girls, and, you know, all different types of people, and I can't do that girlfriend shit. Like, this is college, dude. Like, let's party. You know, like, that is the kind of mentality that he is around all the time. And um, it's really worrying, you know, like, and I think it's worrying for any girlfriend. I don't think that I should feel crazy worrying. And I, I feel like I do feel crazy or I used to. I, I'm, I'm feeling better about everything. Overall, that's why I keep saying I used to. Overall, I feel I am feeling better about everything now because I have realized my trust was in this boy. I'm beginning to just realize that I should take this time to focus on myself and my channel and my school, you know? Like, I have things in my life I need to worry about other than this person that I love, you know? Um, and like, we always just wanna think about the people that we love and able to always tell me if anything ever happened. I just, I trust him, okay? And like, that's another thing. Don't get in a long distance relationship if you don't trust the person um because <laughs> that's gonna be pain being able to talk to each other as soon as we can whenever we can and you know we tell each other we love each other all the time you know like communication is key always guys communication is relationship saver it's like everything so be sure you tell the person who you're in a relationship everything you feel and don't hold back because that it doesn't 
it's just gonna be bottled up and it's just gonna explode one day and it's not gonna be nice yeah guys i took some notes because i knew i was gonna start rambling off <laughs> and oh also like the joy of like sending him gifts is really fun too like i'll be like shopping or something and i'll see like something that reminds me of abel and i'll totally just like snatch that and then send it to him and then i you know like i have priority shipping and everything so it gets to him in like three days because i can't wait to see how he looks and everything when i get him but letters and like cute notes you know like that is like so it, it makes everything like feel new again you know oh also guys when you see each other next that's gonna be amazing because there's just nothing like it it's like brand new it's like you're like just meeting again for the first time and like you're like wow like they're so cute but it's even better too because you already are so reassured in this human being that you love i know from from the video i posted um before i went to montana there are a lot of people that were saying like i'm going into a long distance relationship like you are crazy and it's crazy the circumstances you know um are like that because I just love going through things with people. I don't like to be alone. I don't like to do these things alone. So, I mean, hey, if you guys have any more like comforting things to put, to tell me or something, or to relate to me on, um, you can put them in the comments in this video. But yeah, this is for all those people out there that have said that they are going through a similar thing. So anyways, use this time to look inward at yourself. Really look and realize what you want to do. What do you want to do? You have all this time that you used to be with this person all this time, but now it's free time. And when I first split off from Abel, this free time was like really scary to me and I felt really alone. And you know, they're, we're, we're even in a different time zone. So, you know, there's some times where I can't really even talk to Abel and I, all I want to do is talk to Abel, but <laughs> you can talk to your friends that are there really realize that you are complete with just yourself and it is just an attachment that you have that is so attached to itself so attachment that you have with this person is just a very strong immense one that just shakes you to your core and that is a mood <laughs> that's my been my mood for so long it's just it's easy for me too to get over being attached to things but no not people but like it's also really strengthening for your relationship guys by the way i have an announcement to make i'm going to see abel <laughs> yeah yeah that's happening i am going to see abel and i'm gonna be there for eight or nine days and yeah i'm really excited guys i am definitely gonna make a video out of it like i'm gonna try to vlog every day um probably not all day every day but you know if even if i just vlog a little bit every day by the end of the trip i can definitely have a video um and i want to film videos there too with abel i want to make him film a video with me because it made me so mad that we didn't i didn't have him on my channel before he left again so that is going to be happening guys but yeah I'm going to see him next week. <laughs> I got a plane ticket and I'm really excited and I can't stop thinking about it. But yeah, I'm gonna be able to go and meet Abel's new friends and I'm really, really excited. I can't wait. I love the sense of adventure and I have Airbnbs that we're gonna be staying in together. Like, I'm so excited. Anyways, me and Abel don't really know what the future holds. We both want to be together really, really bad, so. This is a time where it's really, really easy to be sad. And I think it's especially like easier for me to be sad, if that makes sense, because I am living here still. And I am, you know, I'm always in this room where me and Abel used to be in all the time together. And I live on the same street where we used to be together. I live, I li I'm just here, I'm still here. Um, and he is in a new place, so, you know, there's not really all that much that reminds him of me. It feels different being here without him. It, it doesn't feel as right, if that makes sense. Um, but, see, you have all the free time th to think about how sad it is. But then you're like, hey, you take a step back and you're like, I don't need to do this to myself. I can do anything I want with my free time. 
and what's the best thing to do? What? Where? New hobbies. <laughs> no, for real, like the new hobbies are awesome to cultivate in yourself and um, to give yourself just like more more shit to be proud of, you know? Like just have fun and get yourself busy. Don't sit around and just think and miss, you know, because it's really, really easy to do that. So this video is coming to an end, but I do want to end off on a quote that has really helped me along this long distance relationship journey. And that is, whoever is meant to be in your life will always gravitate back to you, no matter how far they wander. Whoever is meant to be in your life will always gravitate back towards you, no matter how far they wander. So that's it guys. What more would you want than what's supposed to be in your life? I don't know. It's really comforting. And yeah, that being said, just put faith in the universe, guys. Put faith in God. It's all God doing everything. And just remember that, <laughs> you know, take your time to do something for you. All right, guys, that's it for this video. And if you guys liked it and enjoyed it, and you're not subscribed to me, you should subscribe to me. I wanna make this family as big and as fat as possible. <laughs> I want that thick YouTube family. Um, I am gonna be becoming a lot more active. And yeah, guys, I hope that you have a fabulous day or night. Also give this video a like if you made, if it was useful to you or relatable, I don't know, girl. I hope you have a fabulous morning or night. And I love you guys so much. Bye.